our bags as well. Maybe we'll take this little bad boy. And yeah, we're good to go. What do you reckon? We've got everything? Yeah. Alrighty, so to get around here, you've got a couple of options. You can order a driver at the marina or you can use the Bluebird app to book yourself a taxi. So Bluebird is the local taxi in Indonesia. And contrary to popular belief, it's actually really legit. It's like, it's way cheaper than ordering a driver. Um, it's always metered. It's a, a proper company and yeah, we use it all the time. And for anybody out there thinking that it's possibly dodgy, it's honestly not. We've always had a good experience with it. Hello. Puggy. Dreams that you dream. Once in a lullaby I also wait Alright, so we are in um, Lombok Epicentrum and as you can see it's just like any other Western Mall. Huge. Ace Hardware. As will I. They make it so you have to, um, so you, when you go up the first escalator, you got to go all the way around so you have to walk past, past all, all, the the, all the shops. It's pretty yeah. smart on their behalf. But currently in Lombok, it's Ramadan. I didn't realize, but it's kind of like their Christmas. It's a huge deal. So obviously, it goes for the whole month and they fast through the daylight hours. Um, oops, almost slipped. But apparently it is kind of like tradition to gift people clothing. All right, so we're halfway through our shopping day, provisioning day at Epicentrum in Mataram. And- We missed Japan. We missed Japan. So I've ended up in a sushi restaurant, as you do. And so we're like walking, when we first got in here, we were like, oh, I must, everything must be closed for Ramadan, like all of the food restaurants, all of the chain restaurants. And then we went and did some other shopping. We came back downstairs thinking, okay, everything's going to be open now. We walked around and I think it was open the entire time, but they've actually put curtains up over the front of the restaurants, but it's either because it's, you know, respectful for those who are fasting or it's rude to, to show people eating when you're fasting. Maybe, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I'll, give, I'll show you like kind of around this whole area, every restaurant shop front has big curtains up with a big sign saying we're open and someone's still standing out the front. You can smell everything, you just can't see it. And there's a menu that's the size of a small novel. Um, how was your ramen? Yeah, it was no Japanese ramen. How was your sushi? Well, it's not Japan, that's for sure, but it was still okay. And I had um, Japanese green tea, which is called, can't remember, but it's got a proper name, where it's all that kind of earthy. And it was pretty good. And my standard ramen deal is I eat all of the goodies and drink all the broth, broth and then leave pretty much all of the noodles, which I've done here as well. Yeah, too many noodles for Loz. So when you think you're really remote on an island and like, Lombok's like so exclusive, like look all the YouTube videos and they're like, oh Lombok's like this secret paradise and they got a mall here. It's just another place it's with a lot bus. of people. Alrighty, so we are in now in Hypermart. Oh my god, I think I just saw a rat. I'm just So this is basically this sorry. Now that yeah, we're I'll push it. there's no we're having two trolleys, aren't we? Nah. I just saw a rat run underneath here. I am not lying. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, this is essentially, this is Indonesia's Walmart. It's always a good time. It's like, I don't know. It's just fun. You're going to do it sometime. And I like to browse the uh, aisles slowly, piece by piece by, by piece. Kilo. Towels by the kilo. Yeah, they are. <laughs> no, they're not. They are. That's what it, when I bought these towels, they're by the kilo. So it does say per 100 grams. They're not. I'm telling you they're by the kilo because I bought them. Towels by the kilo. I thought they were really cheap. It turns out they're by the kilo. Oh, so wait, what's this? Is this is not even a kilo? That would be really cheap. It is cheap. It's cheaper than what that price is because two towels would be less than yeah, a kilo. No, you've got to think of. No, that's no. Anyway, I'm gonna look no, at this after. 
They're all so little. Hey, I was watching a thing on how to make popcorn in the stove. So if you see popcorn kernels, it's really easy. I was, it was um, one of my kitchen hacks that I was watching when I was hungry. Oh, I'm still filming. How embarrassing. I suppose what happens is it... pushes this up because it's under pressure so this this is us every time we try and buy anything ever we like end up pulling apart each piece or each item for sale comparing the price comparing the features and then we literally sit here for like half an hour and then we don't end up buying and then we don't end up buying it we just leave we're like nah it's too much money we don't need it but this is a pressure cooker and we really need one on the boat so we can like maximize um the gas obviously gas is a finite resource on the boat. These are going to be idiot proof though, really. Oh uh, yeah. So our current dilemma is uh, spending 20, about $22 Australian for a 3.2 litre pressure cooker, which seems a little tacky when we play with it, or spending $10 more and getting the thir roughly $32 Australian pressure cooker for four litres. Um, and it's just, it seems like better quality, but we're cheapskates. So we're like, well, $10, like we could save $10 and get the cheaper one. And it's, you know, we'll fit in the boat better because it's smaller. And so now we've put them together and we're like, you know, really picking them apart to try and figure out what's best for us. And we've been here, I legit, we've been here for like 40 minutes. Uh, we should get this one. Okay, we're, we're, gonna, we're actually gonna spend Massive. for once in our lives, spend the $10 more and get the slightly better one. All right, done. Let's put this one away. I don't know if it can, I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, working, but it comes with a free toy. It's a piece of hair. Delicious. But, you know, Vegemite. Every time we go shopping, it's always like a serious mission because I'm constantly like picking everything up, reading the labels. Does it have sugar? Oh my God, sugar's the second ingredient. And then Dylan just kind of stands back and watches me and I'm sure it just infuriates him. But it's really hard to do in Indonesia because absolutely everything has sugar in it. Oh look Dylan, you can actually buy goblets. That one's for you, Elsa. So yeah, literally everything you buy here has sugar in it. It's really hard to come across something that doesn't have sugar as a second ingredient. They love their gula. shop was a lot of staples like toilet paper and canned goods we also bought a pressure cooker so it's so 186 dollars which is okay for the amount of stuff that we got lots of bulk food uh, so now we're gonna head across the Mataram Mall uh, which is just a little ways down the road so we're gonna catch a bluebird <laughs> see you soon yeah 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 So we got snacks, rice, chips, cups, oats, more stuff, Ooh. more stuff here, we've got it all. Right, so now it's time to unpack it all, so it's kind of, it's a bit later now, it's like quarter past six, but we're going to put it all away, we turned the other portion of the fridge on this morning before we left, so we've got like meat and milk and stuff like that that we can put away, 
and yeah, we're good to go. So let's do this. <laughs> So our time in Madonna Bay is drawing to a close. We've been here for a long time, or at least the boat's been here for a long time. We've been to Japan and kind of bouncing around, as you know. Um, so we've just been on the jetty the last few days trying to fix a generator. Um, we ended up plugging into shore power to make some water. That's why we run the generator for the water maker. So that's kind of still a pending job. Not sure how that's going to be fixed. Um, but today we just got back from the market, so I've already been and stocked up on fruit and veg. It's still pretty early, it's only about 8.30. Uh, and now we're going to jump in the water and clean the rest of the hull. So Dylan um, cleaned the port side hull yesterday, so we're both going to jump in now and just kind of smash the rest of that out, get all the barnacles and moss and stuff off. And then in a couple of days time we're flying to KL for a visa run. Uh, and then we'll be back and then we'll be across to Bali in the boat and that'll be us starting the sailing season for good. So that's pretty exciting. And we have just kind of finalized plans with my parents and also Dylan's brother, both visiting in the coming months. And so my parents will be with us for the Kalimantan to Belatung leg. And then Dylan's brother, Matt, will be with us from Singapore up to Anambas. So it's pretty exciting. We've got some you know, beautiful sailing destinations to come. So we're really excited to share it with you guys. I think the anti fouls lasted quite good considering where we've left it. In the tropical, like in the tropics, shit just grows really quick, but I think also, right now, like yesterday when we first started scraping, barnacles were a lot harder to get off. But there's a little freshwater creek here. And I reckon that's gotten to these little barnies, like the hard ones. And like, you go along with your scraper and they just fall off, so... Oh, that's good. I think it's a good spot to scrape the boat. Next time on Sailing Blue Moon, we are frustrated to continue the broken generator saga, but happy to help out some fellow cruisers by pussycat sitting. We pop across to Kuala Lumpur for a quick visa run, complete with spontaneous provisioning of long lost western foods. If you are interested in where we might be in real time, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. This channel is funded by our beloved patrons. Did you know Sailing Blue Moon episodes are released exclusively to our patrons each and every Friday? If you want to know more about us and our story, or you'd like to pledge your support, check us out on Patreon. There's tons of exclusive patron-only content, blog posts, homemade skincare ideas, healthy recipe alternatives that we use, plus some Blue Moon shirts in the pipeline. In addition to the subscribe button, click the little bell to the right to be notified of new weekly episodes. Thanks for watching, Blue Moonies.